Hi, it's Heather Mann from dollarstorecrafts.com and I am back with my How to Art Journal for Less Than $10 series. In today's episode, we are going to mess a page up and um, get started on our art journal. In my last episode, I created this art journal from a coloring book from the dollar store. I painted um, white primer over the pages, taped a few pages together to make the sturdier pages, and now we are going to mess a page up and um, get started on our art journal. So we're not going to start on page one, we're just going to pick a page in the middle, and the reason why is because sometimes it can be intimidating to start at the first page, a blank page, and know what to do in your art journal. And so for the first page, I want you to choose any random page inside, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna mess up this page. We're just gonna put junk on it and get it going because there's no way to get started like just messing stuff up. So what I'm gonna do for this is I opened up three colors of paint and I'm just gonna randomly glob them on my pages. Probably should have started with a light color, but that's okay, doesn't really matter. And I want you to do this too. Just don't worry about where you're putting anything. You don't even really have to worry about what colors you're using. Although if you use colors that are similar to each other, close to each other on the color wheel, it won't look bad. But I, I don't want you to worry about it looking bad. It's okay if it looks bad. All right, so I've globbed those on. I have this lid from a like a juice container. Just any flat object like a credit card or whatever is fine for this. And what we're going to do is we're going to squeegee this paint all over the page. So it doesn't matter what order you go in or it's kind of loud, sorry. It doesn't matter what order, you, like how you scrape it, you can scrape it across the page or up and down. Just play. Get your hands dirty. Just get this page messed up. Your whole goal is to mess it up. I'm not going to talk while I scrape because I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear me very well. So this juice lid has um, these little grooves on the side so it makes this combing look. You can use any object to do this really. Just experiment with different things, see what kinds of marks they make on the page and just have fun. So I, you can see I've messed this up. I'm going to go through the white space of this page now and I'm just going to paint random strokes of paint. So that's what I'm doing to mess up my page. I don't know what you want to do, but if you don't know what to do, you can just feel free to follow my example and make your own page. Obviously, there's no way that our pages will ever be able to look the same. So. This is a 100% one-of-a-kind, unique page that you're creating here. And this is going to be the background of my page, so if I don't like it, I can keep adding things to it until I do like it, or I can just use it as is. Um, I think in an art journal, in my at least in my limited experience, it's like the pages are almost never done, or it takes several days to work on a page. I just, I like to do these backgrounds. They're like no commitment. Just paint the page, do whatever you feel like, have fun. Don't worry about it. Don't even think about what it's going to end up being. Just do it. And then maybe tomorrow I'll come back and look at this page and go, hmm, I want to add something else. Or this makes me think of something I want to write about. Um, and that's kind of how it, one thing leads to another in these pages. But if, if I come back to it tomorrow and it's not inspiring me, maybe I'll make more backgrounds on other pages, or I just kind of keep adding to the book until something gets done. So as long as I'm sitting down and working on it, I don't have to feel guilty or like I'm not doing something because I'm doing something. And also, I don't have to feel guilty at all, and I don't want you to feel guilty either, but I want you to remember that if making art is something that you wanna do, and if creating things is something that you wanna do, you need to make time for that. You need to sit down and spend five or 10 minutes a day doing that thing that you love. Because I read this interview with an artist last week and it said, 
Nobody cares if you make your art or not. The only person who cares is you. So the only person who's going to be disappointed if you don't make your art is you. So you really owe it to yourself to just sit down and do it. I think 99% of creativity is sitting down in the seat with a thing in front of you and forcing yourself to do it. And that makes it sound not fun, but uh, that's not really the point. The point is the fear. It's, it's overcoming the fear of creating. So, what do you think of this page? Do you think I need to add anything else? I'm, I think I'm gonna, sometimes I, seems like in art journaling, you never let anything like a paintbrush with paint on it go to waste. You always kind of use the, use the paint somewhere else or use the material somewhere else. So I'm just gonna go over to this page and clean off my brush. Get it started. Again, I'm not thinking at all about what this looks like. I don't, I don't care. I'm not worrying about it. I'm not trying to make it look pretty. I'm really, literally just cleaning my brush on the page and that is it. And it's scraping the page and I don't even care. All right, so this is pretty much clean. I also have this clean up paper behind here that sometimes I like to mark on because I like the art that comes out of the clean up page too. I feel like this needs something else, but I don't know what yet, and it also needs to dry. I could use paper towels and roll it over and kind of pick up some of the paint and dry it off, or I could let it dry as is, and I really like the brightness that's going on here, so I'm going to keep letting it dry. I can get out my hair dryer later if I want to. I'm thinking I might move on to this page and do some stuff with it too. I think I should do the same thing on this page? I think I will. Except I'm going to use different colors this time. I'm not going to use the pink. We already have some orange, but I'm going to just leave that there. And I'm going to go with the yellow, green, and blue instead. Again, I'm just going to do the same thing I did before. Just glob it. This time I'm going to kind of glob it on each side of the page. So it's not as random. It's kind of orderly. Green. And blue and look I don't even care that I'm messing up these paints now there might be some supplies that you have sometime that you don't want to mess up and you'll want to treat them differently but these are my dollar store acrylic paints I don't expect them to last that long and so I'm just using them however and it's okay if they get mixed up together I'm gonna sit my brush there and if it happens to get on this page I don't care it's just part of the fun I'm gonna use the other side of this, even though I, again, don't care if it gets mixed up, and I'm gonna go across the page this time. Now, I feel like I get a better, oops, I'm not supposed to talk while I'm scraping. All right, I feel like I get a better effect with something really flat, like a piece of cardboard or whatever, but this is still an interesting look. Oh, I can scrape it down more, but see it's collecting the paint in the lid and I'm not loving that. All right, I have a piece of cardboard. I just ripped it off of a package that was in my recycling bin. And I'm just gonna be scraping. I wanna cover as much of this white as possible, but you don't have to. It's just what I feel like doing right now. And since I use colors close to each other on the color wheel, they can blend together and make a green. So although I don't really want all the colors to blend into one color, um, it's good that they work together because then I don't, ha I don't really have to worry about mixing them up too much. Again, I don't like to use the word worry. I don't want you to feel worried about any of this. It's all supposed to just be fun and getting your hands dirty like a kid. Uh, and one more thing I wanted to teach you, which I should have done on this before, but I did not, is see how I got paint on this previous page, which I don't care about, again. <laughs> just gonna be repetitive there. Um, there is a way to protect your pages from each other if you don't want them to bleed into each other. And what you do there is you're just gonna put something underneath each page to protect what you're doing. So I have these folded up pieces of newsprint, I don't know if you can really see them, that I just put under my pages to protect them. And that just makes it so you can really go off the page and not worry about it. 
I have my brush here. I'm going to use up the rest of the paint on the edges of my page. And I can dip it in water even if I want to because acrylic paint mixes with water. Just get my paint pots out and add some more stuff. I'm going to add some circles. So for your second page, if you go ahead and do a second page, why don't you do the scraping technique again, but use it in a different direction. Um, so for instance, this one I scraped all over crazy. This one I scraped across the page just to kind of get used to different techniques. And then I want you to add some circles to your background. And they can be any size you want with any brush you want. You can make them with your fingers or you could even stamp something that's circular. doesn't matter where you put them or even if they're evenly spaced. I'm going to do some fake half circles just for fun. Oops, that one's not half. And this is just to add color and texture. It's just for fun. You can do them in different colors if you want. Maybe I'll fill in. I'm going to go through and fill in with some green paint now. I can't really see it very much on the background, but it still adds extra texture. So one thing that I found that I do when I make these backgrounds is I kind of fall in love with the background and then sometimes it makes me not want to actually write on it. So you don't, you really don't want to spend like a million hours like you don't want to focus on making these backgrounds because you don't want to be precious about them. You don't want to save them unless that is what you want to do. You can just, this can just be your page, but the intention is just to make a pretty surface to add more art to. So really don't overthink it. Just add color, splash it around, scrape it, scratch it, add extra paint. And, um, you know, it's just for fun. It's just to kind of get your creative juices flowing. So what we learned today was start in the middle of your book for your first page, just get a page dirty, glob paint all over it, scrape it, and just fill up the page with color, add extra elements on top to add layers and texture, and use some scratch paper that's bigger than your page underneath your page to protect the edges so you don't have to worry about getting it on other pages. I'll be back with more art journal for less than $10 and I hope you give me a thumbs up and please let me know what you think about the series and if you like it um, and if you have any questions or if you'd like me to talk about anything specific and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Come visit me at dollarstorecrafts.com, become a fan on facebook.com slash dollarstorecrafts and I do short, short videos on Vine vine.co slash dollar store crafts. Get crafty.